And I had some success in rodeo, especially here in the southeast. You know, I hold, I hold a couple of arena records in the steer wrestling that won't be broken. That steer wrestling record was held for 12 years by Walt Garrison. You're familiar with that name. I grew up in a preacher's home. When I started thinking about the cowboy deal, you know, Dad was like, we don't do that. And I said, you know, what you mean we? And I thought, when I get out of this house, I am going to do exactly what I want to do. He thought cowboy, cowboys were heathens. When the rodeo came to town, you locked up your wife. You know, you brought the kids in off the street at dark because somebody's going to get whipped. Um, and somebody's going to go to jail. And usually it was, it was the cowboys. I mean, they were going to come in with that Wild West philosophy. We're going to shoot up the town, shoot out the lights. You know, hey, heck's going to be paid on Saturday night. Um, I never ran around on my wife. I was never a, uh, I was never a drunken, fighting rodeo, going into the bar and picking a fight with the locals kind of guy. But I was just as far away from God as those guys were. My heart was just, I mean, I was doing, I was doing what I wanted to do. I was, I was worshiping at the God of Rodeo. My wife was, my wife is, every dime I made was spent on entry fees, travel money. We'd drive five hours Friday afternoon to be at a rodeo Friday night, go to the slack, that's where cowboys that aren't entered in the performance, that's where they can compete. We'd go to the slack two hours away at another rodeo, compete there, get into bed probably three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, get up on Saturday and go to two more rodeos. We might hit five rodeos in one weekend. It's nothing to spend five or six hundred dollars in a weekend and when you're when you're not making but three hundred dollars a week at your job. I'd write checks at the store telling that guy looking now don't don't turn this check in until Monday. Let me get back home. You know, that's what I pay my entry fees with. Well, that'd be taking food off the table. The, the whole emotional strain that I was putting on her, it could have it could have wrecked our marriage. I mean, there was a lot of times where she was thinking, I don't know why, I don't know why I stay here. You know, we had two separate deals. She was teaching school and I was pursuing the God of me. I was working a construction job here in Chattanooga, and uh, those guys found out I was a rodeo cowboy, and they were like, how do you pay your entry fees every week? It's, it's tough, you know. It's tough working this concrete job. It is tough to pay those entry fees. And they were like, well, what if, what if we help pay your fees and you give us part of what you win? Sure. That's a good idea. You know, so man, there's there's guys that 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 would kind of put me on the road. I come back on Monday. What'd you win, man? You know, like I did good. You know, I won about eighteen hundred this weekend. Here's hundred fifty for you, and here's a hundred dollars for you. And, you know, and enjoying the whole thing. And I'm thinking, man, I'll never see another poor day when I start winning all this money. Um, you know, I'm going to be exactly where I want to be, um, I have status. Folks will look, man, that guy, you know, I've, I've seen him on TV, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, man, that, that wasn't it. Chased it for a long time. And I, uh, I just said, all right, Lord, look, if this is the way it's going to be, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be a world champion. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to go to the rodeos you want me to go to. A lot of rodeos have a cowboy church service. So I started being asked to sing. You know, after a little while I'd been, I was asked to speak at a lot of those cowboy church services. And, and it made sense to them because I was one of them. I wasn't a preacher coming in in a three-piece suit and a, you know, a watch chain. And a, and a vest and my hair just right and sprayed down Aquanet. You know, I, I was I was one of them. I was dirty. I'd get calf snot and 
bull poop on me, you know, and and um, and boy, God opened up a ministry. Just uh, what I look at out of the blue, but I had to get knocked around a little bit for Him to get my attention. But I I could see how God had changed me, and I welcomed that change. I didn't like the guy I was before. I became a husband. I wasn't that guy that that she shared the bed with that was always worried about, you know, am I going to win anything next week? I'm no longer asking God to get in on what I'm doing. I've gotten in on what God's doing. How great the love of Jesus Christ cross of Calvary The blood was shed that pardons me No 